games need VRAM and system memory to run and in this video I will be checking how much system memory these need in 2024. In order to have a better picture of the memory requirements, I will be running the games at 4K using maximum settings, path tracing or RT enable when possible without any upscaling and report back the maximum memory used. For this, I'm going to use the 4080 Super, which has 16GB of VRAM. In the background, I will have the Steam, Epic or Ubisoft Connect client running alongside the antivirus and MSI Afterburner, and nothing more. In order to help the channel grow, hit the like button and subscribe to it. Let's move to the games. Let's start with Pensher's Ghost of Eden. After a hour of playthrough, I didn't see any high spikes in system memory usage, so it seems that this game doesn't have memory leaks and, to be honest, it has low requirements. During the playthrough, I didn't see the game surpass 5.2GB of RAM, so if you have 16GB, you are set. Let's move to Horizon Forbidden West, a game that was ported from PS5. I can tell you that, depending on the location, the memory needs vary, but in my playthrough I saw that the game reached close to 7GB of RAM needed in one cutscene. When playing or fighting, I never seen over 7GB used, or close to that. As it seems, again 16GB is all you need to have a good experience. Let's have a look at a Unreal Engine 5 game, The Tale of Principle 2. The playthrough started in the city and there the memory requirements were below 6 gigabytes. but when moved to the next game section outside the city, the memory increased a bit, reaching a max usage of 6.5 gigabytes. Keep in mind that these games use ray tracing when maxing it out. As we saw in the previous games, there is no need for 32 GB of RAM, as 16 is more than enough for this game. Now, let's check a game with path tracing enabled. Alan Wake 2. As I'm not using any upscaling, the performance is really bad at 4K, so let's overlook the frames per second and focus on the memory requirements. As you can see on the screen, the memory requirements are not outrageous, but I saw an issue. Sometimes the game just jumps in memory usage to close to 8GB and the performance drops. This happened when I switched to MSI running in the background. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but I'm gonna report this as the maximum absurd when playing the game. Now, let's move to Dragon's Dogma 2, a game that is in need of some performance optimization as it performs poorly on the 4080 Super at 4K with max settings, but the memory requirements are not outrageous. In most parts, the game sits at below 10GB of system memory, but in a few others, I saw a jump too close to 11GB, and I believe that in some bigger cities this value will be surpassed. My belief is that 16GB is still enough, as I don't think the game will surpass 13GB of system memory needed. To keep the video short, let's have a look at one last game, an RT game, Avatars Frontiers of Pandora. This game uses a lot of VRAM at 4K, so if you have a look at the system memory usage, it is close to 12GB in some parts of the game. What's puzzling to me is that in one scene the usage sits close to 12GB and immediately after the usage scales down to around 7GB. I believe that the game may have some memory leaks or is because the game has some areas where 16GB of VRAM is not enough and it uses system memory to mitigate that issue. If this is the case, I think this is the first case where 16GB of system memory is not enough. As the game sits at around 12GB of system memory and there are other processes running in the background, a jump to 24 or 32GB may be needed. Now, when we have a look at the chart, you can see that I added the memory usage for Assassin's Creed Mirage and Outcast 2, but I hadn't encountered anything outrageous, so I decided to skip the video part and add the findings here. As you can be seen, Avatar is the only game tested that may have some minor issues on 16GB of system memory. To be honest, I was expecting that games would need more, but as the current gen consoles have 16GB of shared memory, I believe that 16GB is enough for now. 
if you were considering upgrading to 32 gigabytes maybe the price difference could be invested in higher ssd capacity a better gpu or a cpu upgrade as 16 seems to be enough if you already have 32 you are safe for the foreseeable future keep in mind that some games utilize more system memory than is needed due to the lack of vram so have that in mind Another thing to consider is if you run other things in the background, 16GB may not be enough as this video focused on the memory used by the games alone. If you found the video helpful, drop a comment below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Take care and see you in the next one.